this is what I'm talking about. So all of that needs to go. Then I need to rebuild the studs. I think I'm gonna have to just get rid of the water tank, remove that, and I remove all that in behind. That whole rim joist all the way around it needs to be ripped out. And then I have to put new studs in or new floor joists to where the rim joist would be. And after I do that, then I put the floor on. Then I can put a two by four base to it and uh, I rebuild the walls. This is crazy. I don't know how I'm going to do this. So usually if I don't know how to do something, I just start doing stuff and then I usually end up doing it incorrectly and then realizing that maybe I should have done it a different way. So that's probably what's going to happen. King of the time lapse yet again. If any of that came out, you will have seen that. Seen that. Saw that. Seen that. Anyway, if none of that came out, then this is what we go on. What we got going on. I've ripped out the rim joist all the way along, taken the water heater out, and just put some poly tarp over top of it and taped it on the outside with tuck tape. Um, all that rim joist is gone and there was rot underneath the furnace which of course I didn't really want to have happen so but the furnace was surprisingly enough really easy to take out it was just a um, gas fitting right there and then one little plug which was right there um, so that is out now I'm going to take this apart and hopefully the rot doesn't continue underneath the fridge which I'm really hoping it doesn't because that would be bad 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 anyway um yeah it's uh it's pretty amazing um how these things actually just stay together flying down the highway at 120 kilometers an hour flapping in the wind there's like i'm glad i put this in <laughs> Because all of this would be completely on top of me um, had I not. Which, obviously, I wouldn't have done it because you're taking away a foundation from a house. <laughs> so, obviously, bad things are going to happen when you try and deconstruct from the underneath. Anyway, rambling. It is 1003. My god, it's like two hours to New Year's. Happy New Year's, Happy New Year's. Super. Um, let's dig out some more rot, shall we? Ten fifty-two, and uh, got this wall apart, and uh, looks like the rot stops just on the inside of where the fridge goes. Uh, 
but they put some extra support along there. Um, so anyway, I'm going to take that piece off in the morning. That piece there, that piece of chipboard, and then reinforce another piece over. Um, there's a stud right there, or a, a joist right there, so I'm going to tie into that one, double up that, so that that one can go along that main beam there. Um, like I said, I've got all this kind of cleaned up. All the corners are completely gone. And yeah, so that is that. So now I have to figure out a way to free reframe this and put a floor down without taking the joists or the the supports down. So I'm not sure if I'll how to do that yet. I may um I may end up putting the joists down and then start building in the wall, tying in the wall. And then but the uh the floor boards, the um, OSB up to it. Sorry, I'm thinking as I'm talking here, I shouldn't do that. And then kind of do two things at once. Um, yeah, I don't know yet. Like I said, kind of just start ripping and tearing and piecing it all back together. And yeah. All right, well, kind of happy with the accomplishment today, I think. Yeah, pretty good. Gonna sit down, relax for a bit, and then uh, just gonna watch this fire die down before I head back to the van. Yeah, anyway, that is that for this evening. So I got my buddy John coming tomorrow. He can come and see the madness. Haven't seen him for a couple of years, so it's uh, it'll be good to see him. Good to have him up. He's kind of. Uh, liking the idea of the property so anyway we shall talk to you tomorrow morning bye bye okay plugging away here i got my buddy john he's feeding lumber to me um we've been working at the floor so instead of having the joists go lengthwise we're going across ways which is the main i-beams i believe they were in lengthwise because of the ductwork and probably running wires so, um, yeah, just gonna throw a time lapse on and gonna start putting together some of the floor and some of the walls, and then hopefully get rid of these support beams so that we can build a dance floor. in mind for potentially later on in life putting a door here um, so what I may do is I may put like a I hate using the word bathhouse it just sounds disgusting but bathhouse it's not a bath I'm thinking like a just a shower um, so I've got some propane right there that I can use basically from the furnace so if I decide to put the furnace back in, everything's kind of framed up and ready for that. There's another little piece of blocking that I have to put back in. Um, I'll just flip this around so you're stopping looking at my head and you can look at what I've done. Uh, yeah, so right, right in there, that's where the furnace goes. Um, this area here, um, if I wanted to later on, I could remove this center stud, remove this, cut the siding along here, remove this, cut the siding flush to this one here, and that allows for a 30 inch opening. Um, now a regular door will not fit in there, so it would have to be 
um, a custom door made by yours truly um, or no, do no door at all um, just an opening leading into another room which potentially would have a shower in it and all I'm thinking is just a stand-up shower I might put a door in there I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do but regardless I got the back wall to do which would be the west south facing south southish um, so this one here still pretty floppy floppy obviously but the other walls right there as soon as you start putting in this blocking and tie it to wherever the sidings attached to um, then it, it seems to firm up pretty quickly um, and as you can see we've got the supports out now as well so that's um, that's good because the roof's not on my head um, just don't need to file a missing persons report right now um, so yeah <laughs> with this one here I think I'm going to allow I'm going to frame in for a 48 inch window um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to center it within the opening and not kind of worry about the studding that they have at this particular moment and then I'm just going to basically cut like notch out where I need to put like a um, I guess a pretend header because um, it doesn't really need a header all the weight is basically all the load bearing is across this way um, but anyway I would basically put a 48 inch window there 48 by 48 and that's so we can kind of look at the beaver pond and you know get some nice airflow through here as well uh, yeah failing that for if I don't end up putting a door in here I can potentially put a window in here as well so I'm trying to think ahead and plan ahead for all this stuff now this one here because that window is broken already I'm going to frame this in for a 36 inch opening which would then take both of these windows out and make it one opening so I still have to piece in some framing some 2x4 framing for this and then do some blocking afterwards to tie everything together um, and that'll be basically just temporary blocking for the time being um, until I such get a window for this one because this one definitely needs a window 100% I got to do this one 90% I got to do this one and that one there is coming in at about a good 15 um, as far as priority levels anyway so that is that I'm going to probably head back down to the van go grab myself something for dinner um, I got a steak so I might have steak should be good Got some quiche for lunch my friend John came up brought some quiche that was tasty I got some leftover of that so midnight snack or breakfast breakfast quiche for breakfast okay and then I'm going to continue on with that once I get the framing done then I am going to insulate the floor and hopefully put a floor on tonight that would be great if I can get this framed up and then the floor in insulated and installed tonight that would that would kick some sweet but that would be really good um, and then it's just insulation and then paneling I gotta redo this one, I'll have to do some blocking into this one um, and re-insulate this wall here uh, there's, there's quite a bit to do let's not get ahead of ourselves shall we alright so I'm just gonna grab some food and then you know continue on through the middle of the night okay check you guys in a little bit now I figure I'd try and do some quiet stuff because I don't know I'm out in the middle of nowhere and I don't 
don't want to upset the coyotes. I, I have no idea why I want it. Basically, just I just don't want to make noise. Is that so wrong? Is that so wrong? Anyway, um, okay, so recap. This wall done and potential for a door. This wall now done and a 48 by 48 inch rough opening for a uh, window. This is now roughed in for a 48 by 48 inch window now as well. So now comes the quiet time of the night when I get to put some insulation all through here. I've basically made the executive decision to kibosh the hot water heater, um, especially in that location there. So I'll just patch up the outside. And um, if I am going to put a hot water tank in here, it's going to be an instant hot water tank. It's not going to be uh, the tank that I have. Um, and all of this is still existing. So I haven't moved any of this furnace plumbing, i.e. not plumbing, well, plumbing for the gas and um, the electrical going to it as well. I haven't moved anything there. I will probably end up putting that back. Um, we got this killer thing here, but I don't really plan on having that in here for its whole entire life. Um, I probably am getting a smaller one. Um, and for those nights that we just don't want to go for the extra effort of plugging in or uh, starting a fire, if we just have the furnace that can take the chill out of the air, um, then we'll just do that. And uh, yeah, anyway. It's past 11 o'clock now, but I'm, I'm still going to go for it. I'm going to make up this last one because it's going to be a giant pain in the butt. But I figure if I can if I can seal up this floor tonight, then that puts me in a good position for tomorrow. So got a little bit of a dancing floor, folks. A little bit of a dancing floor. Do, 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 do. Get this done. And then I'm just looking at walls. Um, insulating and then polying this up. This is good. It's good. Yeah, John was a real help today, so that was it was good that he came. He really helped out. We did do a little bit of uh, just walking around and kind of showing him the property and such like that, and wasted wasted a good couple of hours, but uh, it wasn't wasted. It's was good fun. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna cut up this last piece and probably say a couple of swear words that you probably won't hear because guess what? Time lapse. That's right. When I'm too lazy to record things, I put it on a time lapse. Then the battery runs out and who knows what you get so this is another one of those moments bye boys Fiasco this morning. Um, I was running about 67% on the batteries on the van, so I uh, I started it up to basically charge up the batteries, and I had all these codes going off, um, SRS and this and that and the other, and so I decided to just drive into town. I needed to get the charge on the battery anyway, um, so I drove into town, shut it down for like 20 minutes, unplugged the battery, like the main battery for the van. Plugged it back in. Codes are gone, um, which is good. Uh, or most of them anyway. I still have some, but um, anyway, just yeah, regard 10 o'clock already. Uh, long and short of it. No excuses other than the fact that it's now late. But it is about minus 12 and it is about minus 17 with the wind chill. So it is pretty chilly. Um, I'm in the van or the trailer obviously right now, just getting the fire going. 
trying to get some heat up in here. Um, so I'm going to insulate these two walls here. Um, and then I'm also going to, I had a, a thought last night, I'm going to put in a brace along this wall here up against the siding um, so that I can have something to screw the um, the antenna, this um, the WeBoost antenna onto. So I'm going to do that after my hands warm up a bit, uh, but putting the insulation in here will definitely help that and getting the fire going as well will definitely help that. So I'm gonna get that all insulated, post in, get this all insulated, get this polyed up and that's it. I, I, it was hot anyway, but it's gonna be really cooking now. So, but it's, it's nice. Like I, I came in this morning uh, or like maybe 20 minutes ago and it's comfortable in here. Like I don't have a sweater on. It is like, like it's just tin on that side there. So it's, you know, minus 12, minus 15 on the other side of that tin, the aluminum. So uh, this stove is definitely um, worth its weight in gold. I can tell you that much. So, all right, well, let's get at it. Okay. Quarter to seven. Um, this got in uh, from the mill. I'm exhausted, man. Um, yeah, just got in from the mill. Um, I'm just having myself a snack. I'm heating up some quiche that Johnny brought. Um, yeah, had a productive afternoon. Or I would think, anyway. If you can see out there, it's dark, but it is almost 300 feet of one by six black birch so um i'm going to use that to basically line the walls in here so i'm going to poly this up tonight and then um i'm going to put some of that uh luon or the um the quarter inch material up at the front of the uh trailer i'm going to find something to my, occupy myself for this evening and then uh, basically to start doing a cleanup and create an area for all of this wood that's out there to go. Probably it's gonna go right here. So it's kind of like the longest length that I have in here. And then I'm gonna basically just uh, sticker it up so that it airs out and it's out of the elements and, you know, somewhat drying. Um, 
So yeah, anyway, like I said, 300 one by six. So that is 150 linear feet. Yeah, but 100 and I'd say realistically probably about 140 linear feet. So I'm not sure how much that would cost in a store, but I'm pretty sure it would cost an arm and a leg. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna finish some quiche and relax for a bit, and then uh, and then get back at her. <laughs> 